All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Boxing Rampage, episode 23. I'm your host once again, JC, accompanied by Flacco. Um, today's episode uh, is going to be short. We always have short episodes, they end up being long. But um, <laughs> today's episode, is, we're going to talk about uh, uh, the fights that happened last week with uh, Sean Porter and uh, Andre Berto and the uh, um, Charlo fight. Um, and then we're going to talk about the fights this weekend with uh, uh, Klitschko and uh, Joshua, and obviously the other cards with... Uh, uh, Don't forget Mariano versus Valdez. Uh, uh, Mariano uh, Valdez, obviously, excuse me. Uh, and then obviously we'll talk about the, the, the undercards, so, uh, Klitschko and Joshua with uh, Scott Quick, and obviously the little rumors. So uh, let's just jump right into last week. Uh, uh, we'll just jump into the main uh, fight, uh, Sean Porter versus Andre Berto. Uh, any thoughts? Wow. <laughs> How many headbutts, man? We some headbutts. <laughs> we some headbutts. <laughs> All right. I mean, um, uh, if you go back to, uh, let's say, uh, Sean Porter beat would you say that? Would you say that uh, Porter was ahead on the scorecards? <laughs> ahead. ahead. <laughs> no, so I mean, let, let's go back and, and think about Sean Porter coming and beating Alexander and beating Pauli Malignaggi. And he actually became the champion, uh, the IBF, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, IBF yeah, champion. IBF champion. Um, against Alexander, beating Alexander, and then Correct. fought um, Al Naji. Defended it, right? Exactly. And he ran through both of them. Um, when I was like, super excited when uh, uh, Porter beat both of them and, 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 and put his name up there in the up, up, uh, upper echelon of, of, of the welterweight division. and was also a champion. I was excited, I, I thought to myself, I, I'm usually a kind of guy that likes like these awkward boxer guys that like type of Maidana, Chino Maidana basically, and they evolve and, 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 and put, add that boxing skill to, to their, their style. But Porter doesn't seem to like add anything to it. He hasn't changed anything. And he got the win, he, I was actually, um, amazed how he didn't get uh, a, a point deducted for it, he, he, um, initiating the headbutts. N not because it was not intentional, but it was so much, it got to a point where I was like, wow, I, I'm, I'm surprised the referee didn't do anything about it. I mean, then again, I don't think it was uh, like he was doing it on purpose. But I'm not seeing anything new from him. Every time he comes around, like, a guy that lets him, like, bully him around, he's going to have the same performance. If, if a guy come in box, like Thurman did and like Kel Brook did, then you know he'll have a, a little bit more difficult time and, and he won't do, be able to like bully you around like he did with uh, Pauli Manaji, he did with Alexander and now he did with, with Berto this past weekend. Honestly, um, I would love to see him like add something, some... Uh, and Broner. Yeah, and, and Broner as well. Add some uh, more skill to, to his technique. Use a jab, uh, don't lunch in that much. Don't uh, smuggle his punch as much as he does. But overall, I mean, uh, I didn't throw, I didn't think he was that much excited. Berto didn't look that great. Berto should should fight a uh, should be a gatekeeper. Yeah, a gatekeeper. He should. She, I was surprised with that. Um, uh, Perez, how come uh, Berto got 1.2 million and um, the guy who's, in my opinion, deserved more was Sean Porter. He only got one million. Because he just fought Mayweather. It's the Mayweather effect. You can, dude, you can, you can rub shoulders with Mayweather and get like a thousand dollars that pays in your pocket. I don't know. That's how rich he is. Like, oh man, thank I, I, you, I, I, Floyd. I'm going to have to move to Vegas and probably <laughs> run, run into Floyd in, in a shopping center or something. And maybe that'll happen. But um, I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, how can you honestly not look good, I mean, against Mayweather at all. I think that was a, the worst performance of any fighter that had fought Mayweather. And uh, and even before that, he didn't even serve the fight against Mayweather in the first place. But I think, you know, he got, he's cool out of him, and I, I believe that's what it was. He probably didn't even want to take the fight. He just got a couple of uh, extra, bucks. Extra, extra bucks in his pocket to take the fight and, and make it. But um, moving on, I, I think he, uh, Berto, like you said, should start fighting like guys are moving up. Should become a gatekeeper if you want to stay at the game, and I think for Porter, maybe a fight. And we talked about this before the show. Uh, maybe, maybe fight Danny Garcia yeah. to, to get that that rematch uh, against Dermot. I believe Dermot should fight uh, um, Peterson, 
and uh, November, like he said uh, on the show, I'm talking about that. How big was freaking Thurman? This guy is eating some eggs and his and shape up was like a round one. Like you know how the barber comes down and goes in. His was like this. Okay, it looks his. It looked almost like a chin strap. Like he was wearing those helmets, like the British officer. <laughs> he's like he, he's, he's at least 175 pounds. But um, <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba, <laughs> it's one time. <laughs> it's one time. I'm loving it. <laughs> but anyways, um, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think that would be good for, 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 for boxing. I mean, Garcia versus Porter and then Thurman versus uh, Peterson. And they could put it all in one card and, and, and it'll be a, a great event for uh, PBC. But I, I, I'm talking so much. No, no, no. I, I agree with you. I felt that, uh, that uh, Sean Porter, the, the style he had, he basically came in with his head so much, real excessive. It almost feels like the game plan for for a reporter is just to come in with his body and wrestle you with the arms and just, you know, beat wearing your arms down because he's a wrestler, former football player. He's obviously really fast on his feet. I mean, he has the legs of a football player, really quick agility. But it doesn't seem like he was even trying to go for, like, a knockdown. It's like, how do you... I just... Oh, just, I mean, I know he's a professional fighter, but how do you smother your own punches? <laughs> like, if there's a way to hit someone and not hit them at the same time... Porter's the master of that shit. It's like, how, how can you be so close and like, it's almost like, you're like hugging around, like, it's like, ooh, you're so close, just like, land it clean, like, a clean, clean, it was like, no, it's just like. The thing about some, some boxes is <laughs> that they gotta be on some sort of precision in order to, to get those flush, flush punches. Like, for instance, Danny Garcia is like a, a mid-range mid yeah. So you gotta be in that mid-range in order for him to, there's other boxers that like to be in the outside, and there's some guys that are are, are good in the inside. For him, he like to be in the inside because he's a he's a bully. But then maybe he's he's more effective in the outside. But then um, he he will, he will land those those straight punches from the outside. But he, maybe he's not as, as effective. He's he's, strong, a, he's not a, he's not a boxer. He's a fighter, and and and, and that's that's the problem. He, he should, and that's why I, I think he should elaborate some boxing skills in his. I'm not trying to tell him to change anything. Just probably putting a jab in there. Um, to work set his set way some, inside. Yeah, set up some punches. Which was a problem really with the whole uh, 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 Kel Brook fight. Because he kept coming in and Kel, Kel kept tying him up and prepping him with a jab. And if you would have came in with a jab, Kel probably wouldn't have been as, as quick to tie him up. Yeah. So I think just, you know, at least for line. But I think it's, at the end of the day, honestly, for as much as a boxer works on things, I think at this stage, when you're professional already and you know everything, you may fight four or five rounds. Like they told you, but at the end of the day, I think you're just gonna go to default. You're gonna go back to what you know at the end of the day. Unless you have that discipline where you can fight exactly how they tell you. When things are going bad, I think you're just gonna go back to default. Whatever they told me, or not they told me, whatever I feel comfortable with. So, um, yeah, I agree with you. The same thing with Porto. Uh, good fight. Um, hopefully, you can fight Thurman because he's mandatory. If not, hopefully, you can fight Garcia. That'll happen. Um, and then, you know, I think, I think, we, 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 I think we mentioned it last week. Um, with Thurman, he's just looking for the payday fight, like I said before. Um, Pacquiao first, most payday. Possibly, if that doesn't happen, probably move on to the, to either Garcia again, or if not Garcia, Kel Brook or Thurman. I think Porter is probably the last guy he will fight, but it's strange because if you look at Keith Thurman's Instagram and stuff, he's kind of asking fans like who he should fight next. It's funny because when, when somebody like Danny fights someone, or anyone even like a, a, a Mayweather, they usually have the, the fans are quick to respond who they should fight. With Thurman, it seems odd. He's, he's already unified these titles, but no one seems to demand him to fight anyone. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think this... I think he's just trying to build some sort of uh, uh, demand to see who he should fight next to see how, how he will react. But, uh, moving on, uh, um, the fight... The undercard tail fight, so we're going to move on to the fights coming up this week. Uh, uh, Jamal Charlo against Charles Hatley. Um, all I can say is no contest. Uh, Charlo, was it the 8th round? 7? 6? Something, yeah. something like that. <laughs> Jamal, he, 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 he came out like like he was going to fuck him up for some lunch money shit. Like he was just like, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> just like put him out like there. He's like, I don't know what they told him in the corner. Yeah, he, he already had, uh, previously in the rounds, he already had hurt him. Um, yeah. He was already hurt. Um, he's, the Charles brothers, they are big kids. And, and um, compared to like the average uh, uh, junior middleweight guys, they are you could see that in their body the night of the fight, they're really big. Um, I don't know if Jermo is, is, is going to follow his brother's footsteps and move up to uh, uh, middleweight, but they're a big kid, and it's easy for them to, like, 
But I mean, I want to take anything away from him. He, he did a phenomenal only he put on, and he did what I was looking for from them. Because uh, a lot of the time they fight, they leave questions, and they're like, oh, they didn't look that good. So when, when they fought like um, Jackson and uh, in previous fight, they haven't have looked that good. Um, but in, in this fight, he showed everything. Maybe because uh, Hadley was, you know, he, he is what it is. He's, he's, uh, he wasn't prepared. He Long layoff. Lay off. He, he didn't look good. He it, looked good at spots. Like, he did. But yeah, but he, he, that, that's him basically. He's not a, 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 a top level of junior middleweight. Whatever excuse you want to put. But for me, he looked good. He, he did what he was supposed to. And um, he got the, the, the KO. No, definitely. I mean, it's going to be, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, that's pretty much last week. Uh, for that uh, event. Oh, yeah, for that event. Excuse me. I, I didn't cover Come it. Come on, man. Uh, that was not even uh, the best part of the weekend. <laughs> basically, you want to touch on the uh, Oscar Valdez? Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, Valdez proved himself as being on the top of, 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 of the division. He, he proved that he's a champion and he's, he's worth a serve. This is a rough, close fight that, in my opinion, was given to him due to the knockdown. Some of the judges, they were just being fanboys, uh, two of the judges. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they, had, they, they were rooting for uh, Valdez since the beginning, but I, I give it to Mariaga. He brought it in. He didn't come to lose. He brought it all, but uh, uh, Valdez showed that he's the better uh, boxer. He dropped him in the ninth. Mm -hmm. On the tenth, I gave the, the tenth to Mariaga. He even after the knockdown, he came back and, and proved that he wasn't there to, to lose and he wasn't there to to just just uh, um, quit basically. Um, so uh, by let's move on and and uh, awesome fight. You know his his corner. I'm surprised because like for instance, the, uh, uh, Porter and, and his father. I think they're they're missing a little bit because they don't have answers for everything. But in this in this fight, I saw his. Um, his trainer had some some answers for 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 for, for his adjustments and and he, we saw about this adjusting yeah, yeah. um and he, he did what he was supposed to it was uh, a, 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 the most exciting fight of the night in my opinion yeah i, I thought the uh, the uh, Gilberto Ramirez I, though, that yeah. was a uh, one one way traffic and yeah, it, 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 it was a it, it, that was a snoozer that, that fight uh, put me to sleep um, uh, I, do you I, think? Do you think Adam? Because Bob Aramore's benches him. I know I'm going off topic. Do you think he'd even be a, a even good enough contender against Triple D or anything? The thing about him is that he he's, he's a boxer, and it seems like he, he um maybe he just he just fights to the level of his position. We may say, but I didn't see that power in him. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, taking the guy to the decision that he was supposed to just wash out. He was a better boxer. He, he got skills. He showed the skills, mm -hmm. but he, I don't see that power. And then if, if he fight, uh, uh, maybe Triple G moving up. I, I can't see it. I don't know because Triple G. Geez. It's hard to say because Triple G couldn't take out. Um, he had a bad. He had a he had a uh, off night. Not a bad night. An off night. Not what we expected from him. That's all. Yeah, but tri Triple G couldn't take out um, uh, Jacobs because Jacobs was a bigger guy that night. Um, Jacob came on, on on the interview with with um, with, 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 with uh, Mannix. Mannix, yeah, yeah with Chris Mannix. Mannix. Yeah, Chris Mannix. He came on and was saying that he was one seventy. He came, and, and, and this is a, the her her Kerbal Ward Trafford debate. And it's a part I, I hate. Don't I understand we all believers and whatever it can be. Don't, don't come saying I, I believe in God and thanks God, and then they come lying to, to the public saying that you were what, on one seventy five. Say that you was around one seventy five if you want to. 10 pounds give or take, but you was not 175. Because even if Triple U was 170, which he waited at 169 in the morning, he was probably. One, Triple U probably was 175 or 173 yeah. at, 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 the, the at, at, at the time of the fight. And we were all there. This guy looked it way bigger than him. Even in the moral fight, he looked it way bigger. And when I, anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say, he was way bigger. And he, uh, the point is that. Triple G had a problem taking out a bigger guy, a way bigger guy, because I, I think Rubio was big in that fight. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, uh, Sudo Ramirez will give will give Triple G problems due to the fact that he might not be able to take him out. So I don't, I, honestly, at this point, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. It's, it, it's hard to say. I, I want to see probably Triple G fight again and maybe prove that he's not aging and maybe that he had an off night and then you know or just the. the Whatever excuse you want to put out there, or his camp want to put, 
but basically it's hard to say at this time I want to see if you fight a bigger guy and then well, a guy from actually a uh, super middleweight and, and then take it from there and then I'll say yeah he'll run through uh, Sulu Ramirez but at this, at this point it's hard to say you know Sulu Ramirez could just use because he's a big dude he's a tall dude you know he's ranger he's bigger than, than uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jacobs in, in all senses so mm -hmm. it could be a really hard fight for Triple G after all at the, my my point of view after the, what I saw with uh with Jacobs. No, yeah, shout out to uh, Jesse Magdaleno uh, for his KO win. Um, I think that that whole card that night, and obviously Valdez. I think I mentioned this in the past, but the thing that impresses me most about uh, Oscar Valdez is that he has that that snappy punching power. But I've always liked him. About, he keeps that like amateur type style. Like he he turns you, turns you. He fights, he, he basically fights the fight, he turns you. You see, he's literally turning his fighter as he's going. And, and the, like, I don't, obviously, you gotta realize this, but he's always working a different angle, working like a clock, working, working. Next thing you know, you know, but um, shout out to, to all of them, great performances. And basically, of course, Stevens uh, got a uh, oh, yeah, technical yeah. draw, which, uh, you know, he, he shows. I think the kid is still um, lacking power or, or, or strength, I say. He, he looks like a. He just hasn't yeah. developed into his uh, yeah you know, yeah into his body. I, I think he's he's just nineteen young. year old, but, but see, he don't have his man strength. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, he's, like he's twenty two, he, twenty one. Yeah, he's, he hasn't developed as a man, and, and I think uh, top rank is really good bringing these kids up. And I, I heard he he hurt his hand in the fight or um or what's not, but um I, you know I mean top rank will do a great job with him. I, I can't I, I I can't say any more. But um, for those of you that haven't seen the video, uh, check out our. Uh, uh, Instagram for Boxing Rampage uh, posted up, uh, he posted up a video of uh, Shakur Stevens, a highlight video, really nice. Um, hopefully you guys check it out, but moving on. Um, am I missing anything before I... <laughs> yeah, for that, for, so we had uh, yeah, no, Mangaleno, yeah. uh, Shakur Stevens, uh, uh, Sulu 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 those are like the top, the main, yeah, fights main, main fight for the pay-per-view. Oh, before. the, uh, didn't cover that, the uh, Gabe Rosado versus Martin Murray. And, and talking yeah. about, when, when I said, when I mentioned about those, those, those judges. <laughs> Wait, last year robbed my ass, he's coming back. <laughs> when, when, when I mentioned about those judges that, um, that were, uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking about the the uh, about this, uh, uh, fight that they didn't know what they were watching because it was a close fight. I'm, I'm I, but that definitely won. There's no doubt about it. But one eight, one nineteen, and one eighteen for Valdez. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah. that's a close. Same, fight. same thing happened with, with Rosado, man. And one judge that had it one nineteen for for uh, uh, Murray, like definitely a fanboy. Yeah, this guy is just, just he's fighting overseas. Yeah, right? he, he just he just fall asleep and then he woke up at a minute. Yeah, like, hey, your, your scorecards. <laughs> he just he just filled up everything. Like, oh, uh, let, let me get the guy. Like, I'm ready. Got one round. <laughs> Five more minutes to hang your cards. <laughs> oh crap! Mark is like in school. Mark C. It, 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 C C C. It, he put like, he put ten 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 nine B, 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 B. nine <laughs> ten 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 nine. All right. Break my name. Here you go. All right, who's uh, the announcer? Like, thank you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Erase your marks. <laughs> it, it's like when you are at school taking a, 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 te a sex exam and um, and they t tell you the same thing. You got five more minutes and you didn't realize you still got like twenty or thirty more questions. You ten, 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 ten. You started putting nine, A B C D A B C D D D A B A B A B. I've done that before. It's <laughs> <laughs> like what the hell? It's like it's like that's what I saw. And that's the thing when you make a fuck up to that magnitude. You got. What was the name of that? Uh, I, we're going off topic. What was the name of that? Uh, the 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 referee. The, there was a fight. I think it was Bradley versus uh, 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 Jesse Vargas. That old ref. Oh, yeah, 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 the bell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot his name, but yeah, I don't know. Pat, Pat Russell. No, no, nah, nah, I'm thinking of someone. No, it's a. But basically, a fuck up tap. Like, when you're a ref or a judge, and you fuck up tap. You gotta like lit to. You gotta be like, no, this is what I meant to do. This is my heart to do. It. Like, you can't be serious, and you gotta defend it. Yeah. I think it was probably mistaken. Like, he has to. He has to go to the grave every time he gets stopped at the store. Like, who are you thinking during that fight? He's like at the local A and P. Like, Look. I meant to do this. This is my heart, but I don't think it's true. But anyway, and well, all, all the respect um, to Murray, um, I think we're talking about that fight. Mm -hmm. It's funny, man. The one the, that one fight, man. He actually won. They, 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 no, I mean, for me, he was beating Peterson, and then they, they stopped the fight. I think he could have continued. Uh, um, uh, yeah, Peter Quillen. I'm talking about mm -hmm. Peter Quillen. For me, he was beating Peter Quillen. Um, and but then again, he even stopped the fight. But then again, again, like the left the scorecard. Quillen was the favorite, and, and the judges 
still giving it the uh, like Damien Bailey. Yeah, I'm sorry for Rosado, man. I like the kid. We, uh, John, <clears throat> my boy Johnny, he's a true fan, and we, we watch him uh, in the Barclays. Let's go to the movies, man. Yeah, he's, he's a good kid, man. I mean, he, he meant well, and, and he got a lot of heart. He, he's like the, the new edition of uh, Tudulati for uh, middleweight, basically. Middleweight. You just, just bring it, man. Uh, and he's excited no matter if you lose or win. Um, and I like that, because he actually sells himself. But um, he, he just don't get it his way, I guess. Yeah. Just can't um, break. Um, and, um, or maybe they want the one rematch. Maybe they won't. Who knows? I, I think maybe they got one more fight in him. I mean, now nah, you can still fight. I mean, if you show that he beat Murray, in my opinion, and 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 that's the thing when when you you lose in in, in that kind of situation when it's controversial, you don't there's really no lose stocks. Yeah, you don't really lose your stock doesn't go down, and and he, it, it, that will lead to another big fight, and maybe on, on the on the UK as well. You know, so because like, now he he gained fans, man. You know. He got publicity in the UK. People that had never heard of him now see him, and they you know, look him up and probably watch his old fights. And you know, oh, this is an exciting guy. You know, they want to wa watch him fight. Good point. Good point. I so, think. Uh, are we doing last week's cards? I think that was it for, for last week. Um, and I don't know if you want to move to next week fight. This upcoming mega event. Yes, mega, mega event. Uh, the this is one? this is uh, uh Mayweather Pacquiao for the UK right now. Fight UK. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go with the main event start first, or you want to go? With yeah, I mean, I mean the quick fight. Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, you know, it's it's quick. really a two up fight. I mean, I uh uh uh. uh, uh What's his Scott name? Quinn, no, Scott, uh, Scott Quinn's fighting this guy, uh, um, Simi, um, uh, Simoneo. Uh, let me see. Let me just just bear with me one second. Uh, uh, before you bring that, Chavez versus um, Chavez versus uh, uh, Alvarez are fighting this weekend. This weekend. Are you sure this weekend? Yeah, they fighting this weekend. They're I, I think. Let me check my calendar. I think my calendar <laughs> said. Hold on. No. I, I think you're wrong, bro. I think it says today's the 29th. I think it's in this uh, Cinco de Mayo weekend. I think no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Canelo versus Chavez. But you, you, no, 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 wait, wait. You just said it was Canelo. Alvarez, no, it's Alvarez. I said you said Alvarez. Alvarez. Oh, Alvarez versus and Chavez. Chavez. So basically, Canelo's brother. Oh, brother. Ramon Alvarez versus Chavez. Omar, uh, brothers Omar and Chavez are fighting this weekend on a rematch because they already fought and. Uh, on the first fight, uh, Ramon Alvarez won, and now they're going to do the rematch one beat one week before in, the, the the mega uh, event. In case you don't know who Ramon Alvarez is, um, this is what Alvarez would have looked like if, if he looked more Mexican. Because <laughs> you know, isn't it funny we're talking about that? Isn't it funny that like guys like Alvarez and like Triple G like they don't even look like their nationality, like they're blonde or whatever, or they're Irish. Like it looks like it's like the the, 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 the store dropped off the wrong baby. You know? <laughs> it probably that's what it was. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, but, <laughs> but oh, but uh, Omar Chavez. Um, I, I don't know. You said they fought in the past. Yeah, they so. fought in the past, and uh, um, Alvarez, uh, Ramon Alvarez, um, no, one, one of United Miss decision, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was decision. It was okay. an unanimous decision. And I think it's going to go the same way. I, I think um, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is the, the one that...